Hello my crafty friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel, Turquoise Dreaming. I am here today to make another Daphne's Diary Magazine journal. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving these with a purchase of a journal from my shop, my eBay shop. And uh, they're a thank you gift to go along with the purchase of a journal. So if you purchase a journal, you will get one of these, as long as I have Daphne's Diary magazines to make them with anyway. So, um, yes, this one is already going with uh, someone's purchase, so I need to kind of like catching up now because, uh, yeah, I sold some journals, so I need to make some of these and catch up. I had some extras, and then they were all gone, and now I need to make some more. So, anyway, this is the next cover I am working on, and then we'll work on the pages together, and we'll get this all done during this video and we'll do a flip through all during this video start to kind of like start to finish except I worked on the cover already so this is two layers of pages from the Daphne's Diary magazine I'll show you how I did it in a second but first we're going to finish this cover so I have this uh, pretty it was a tag that was uh, shown in the magazine and if you can see the tag is right here and it has this pretty lady with this red dress on the front of the tag. And her skirt is actually made out of a Dove chocolate wrapper. I'll show you up close. Maybe you can see it, but I'll pick it up in a minute. Right now, we need to finish it first. So what I have here is uh, I had cut out the word diary from the, one of the pages. Because I thought, well, that's a good word to cut out. And it was on a scrap or something or on a page and so I cut it out and then just now I cut out the individual letters as you can see so we're going to glue these down just like I have them here uh, when I put letters down I've said this before but just in case you didn't know or didn't hear it before uh, I cut out if I do individual letters like this I don't try to line them up into a straight row because if you get one out of out of whack then you're all like disappointed and kind of think that it doesn't look good so in order to avoid that I just don't put them in a row I just kind of always do them a little wonky like this you know in a non-perfect kind of twisty fashion or something like just like I'm doing here so you can see that one's tilted and so they're all going to be tilted in different directions and just going to be kind of a non-perfect little line of letters here that spell the word diary there's the D, and let me make sure I'm putting it like crooked enough, kind of in the middle. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, D I A. Here's our A. Yeah, I thought that was quite clever on this picture here when I saw that that they used a Dove chocolate wrapper. You know, there's those are the foil. I believe they're foil wrappers. So that's a really neat uh, something to craft with there. I recently put some they weren't dove they were what were they it was another candy that I saved and put in my my junk journal just to save because well the ones I saved have have encouraging quotes inside so that was fun too and my friend gave them to me that doesn't work at my job at my office anymore so it's a nice memory of her giving us her <laughs> once in a while she would go around giving us a chocolate from hers chocolate stash from her office and she just like not every day just once in a while she'd be like here's a chocolate for you and we were like thank you <laughs> so there we go the word diary and so now the cover is done so there there it is there's the dove chocolate wrapper as you can see in the word diary there I think it's a really pretty cover so what I did was I took this piece of paper, it had this design on it, like here's half of it, and so this design was on this half too. And I thought, well, that's a pretty cup, that's pretty, but it's kind of plain. And I also wanted to use this, and I thought that would be pretty on the front of a cover, but it was on this side of the paper. So it would have been on the back if I just folded the paper in half. So I wanted to double the paper anyway to make the cover a little thicker. So I just cut that off and put it here as the second layer. And then so this front cover half was doubled up by doing that. And then to double up on the back half, I just took a scrap that I had here 
and it had this, I had a scrap here, and it had this little kitten on it, which I thought was so cute, kind of peeking around the corner like that. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. There's some text up here, but I'm just leaving that. And so I'm leaving it the way it is, so whoever gets this can do what they want with it. Uh, they can decorate over that. They can put a writing spot there, whatever they want to do. But anyway, that cute little cat's there, and then you it flips up. So this was the scrap. Uh, was it from, I don't know what was on the other side, but anyway, there is some blank spots here, or a blank spot here I noticed that someone could just write right there if they wanted to, or you could, you know, cover this up with another solid piece of note paper, whatever, paper, coffee dye paper, whatever, and make it a whole writing spot or put a picture, and then there's space up here too, so anyway. And then I had another scrap sitting here, so I thought, well, and still thinking about doubling up the paper. Uh, so, because this half was still not doubled up up here. So I took this scrap, which was from this paper here. It was the bottom part here that I cut off. And I put it up here like it looks like a like a crown, you know, there. Because it, it's actually upside down, but it just looks pretty there. And uh, so, and then I left it as an up tuck. So this is actually an up tuck here and on this side. And then I tucked in. I've been tucking um, one of the last two because I just cut these out uh, of, the, of, of the Daphne's Diary magazine. I'm using these little tags or whatever they are. And this one, again, I left it together. These two I left together. There's a little kiwi fruit on the back and a little... Stand tall, be sweet, pineapple on the front. And then there's two pictures with little tags that you could write on inside here. I think those are so cute. They're meant to be cut apart, I think, but I left those two together and did that. And then I put the, I'm putting as long as I have, I have a few more stickers, but this, these were the next two. Just so happened there was a cat on this one. So there you go. You got cat go, cats going on in this journal. <laughs> so... Little kitty cats, and that one that says good job right there. So now we need um, papers. The cover's done, and now we need some papers for the inside. So um, I've been looking at these, meaning to do something with these and make these into a page. This was just a little page in the Daphne's Diary magazine. So I thought I would have a little try to have a little fun with this one. So what I'm going to do. Is I just heard a car going by. I was like, "What is that noise?" It was some kind of something with a loud motor, loudish motor, mo loudish motor. So I'm gonna put it like this, like so. This will be like there's not gonna be a fold or anything on this side or flip out. Here's the center, and then this side is gonna be just a whole, like a big flip out on one side of this page. So this will be a page, and then see there's the big flip out just enough. If it was too big, I would fold it again, but it's not, doesn't seem to be. And then I'm going to fold it in half. And that will be a page. Let's just see if I did it right. Did it fit inside? Yes, so far so good. <laughs> so uh, that will be one page. And then I have the other pages that I've been using, except I did add one thing. I added a coffee dyed piece of paper. I just brought these home. One has a little tear in it. Let me use one that doesn't have a tear in it. Um, but yeah, I just brought these papers home and um, I showed them in my Thrifty Thursday. So by the time you see this video, you will have, if you watch, you know, all my videos, and if you watch the Thrifty Thursdays, um, you will have seen that I brought home uh, from work letterhead that they were getting rid of, and I had to cut off the top because that's where the name of the firm was. And the at part on the bottom was the address and all that stuff. So I cut that off, brought the papers home, and some of them I've been coffee dyeing. So they came out really nice. Like I said, it's a different kind of paper than I'm used to. It's not regular copy paper. You know, they use nicer paper for letterhead, you know, type of thing uh, when in offices. So anyway, it, it did coffee dye very nicely. And I thought it would be a nice page, a different something different to add into this journal. So I'm going to add one of those. And um, so that's in there. And then, <clears throat> let's see, so the pages I, I'm kind of like 
one pile I'm taking from, and then when they're done, I put them over there. So this is uh, from a brown envelope. And I think it's going to be too, a little bit too tall. Only about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to cut off, I think, this side right here. quarter of an inch. This side is not even anyway. It looks like I I uh, got probably got this at work, and then I don't think I got it at home. Probably got it at work, and then cut off the back. That's what I do. <laughs> cut off the back so I can use it in my journals because it's I love the brown paper. And <clears throat> so I'll just like quick take my I don't like I don't have my paper a paper cutter at my desk at work right <laughs> and so I just take my scissors cut around this the folds and cut the back off and put it in my drawer so I can take it home. Um, let's see. <clears throat> this side doesn't look even either, so let's just even that up, and we'll see how we can put this in there because I think it's going to definitely be too wide. So we made a flip out on this side. Here is our length, which is now good. <clears throat> Pretty much takes up the full top to bottom. There's just a barely a little bit of extra room there. So let's take this one, put it over to the side here, where it's going to go, and make our flip out on this side for this page. So I have, we already got to flip out over here on that short page. We got to flip out over here for this brown envelope page. There we go, and now we're going to fold it in half, so it'll be ready to be a page pages in our journal here. So there we go. That is awesome. It's going to be an awesome page. Okay, so let's keep those together like that. Uh, let's see. I think if I were going to. I want to see what this coffee dyed page looks like as a starting page, actually. Let's put the coffee dyed page, this little page, and this page. Let's see if they all fit in there. Yes, they do. Okay. Next, let's go ahead. I got two, pulled out two um, random, just I'm putting pages inside that look like that I would never use them as a cover. You know what I mean? So these are not. You know, pages I would ever use as a cover. Oh, and then, by the way, there's a little kitty cat and a dog on here, too, that goes with our kitty cat thing we've got going on inside. So, um, yeah, so these, I think, we'll put them upright. Uh, the sides are nice here, nice and straight, and this one needs a little evening out. So let's see. And, of course, it's too long. So, let's see. And that is outside, if you can hear that. It'll be gone in a second. My son borrowed someone's motorcycle today. Yeah, and he's uh, taking off. Maybe he's returning it. I don't know. They went, him and his wife went for a ride. Her parents have a motorcycle that they ride. And they borrowed somebody's motorcycle so they could go for a ride with her parents, his wife's parents. So they said they had a really good time and, <laughs> and all that. But, you know, I've always been like, no motorcycles. <laughs> but oh, when they're grown, there's not much I can do about it. And they're, you know, being careful. And, and her parents, like I said, her parents ride, motor ride a motorcycle. And so they're, you know, used to being careful and all that. So anyway, they did that today. And I think he may be returning it at this moment to his friend that he borrowed it from. Hopefully. <laughs> but now they both really enjoyed the ride that they did today. It wasn't a long ride. It was just a, a, ride, a ride about, I would say probably about it. To where they went, it probably took them about an hour to get there, an hour to get back. So about a two-hour ride. And um, they both really enjoyed it. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little puppy, where it ended up. Little puppy ended up right there. This is really cute. Okay. And so it needs to be a little, little, and you take a little bit off the side here. It's a little bit too wide. 
but yeah, that was a, that's what the noise was. <laughs> but yeah, so now they're like, hmm, because he has a, he got a little, this little motorcycle thing. And I don't know if two people can ride on that or not. So they want to get one like they rode today now. They, they enjoyed it so much. But they're not in a hurry to get it because she's, they're like, you know, being careful with. They just got married in April, so they're being saving money for a house and everything. But, um, but this might be a good starting page. That is so cute. And it's just like a really pretty page. I think we're going to put this in front for now. Unless we come up with something better, that will be our starting page. And it goes with the blues here. So, yeah, I think that might be our starting page. And here, is this two pages? Oh, this is two pages. This is the other back. I didn't think I pulled two pages out here, but yeah. This is going to be our... I know I've picked this one out because it had this... Uh, it's about uh, folding paper into a... A cheerful sandwich bag, ma bag made from paper. <laughs> so I thought that looked like a good one to put in here. And so, yeah, I know I pulled this one out. I just didn't realize it was attached to another page. <laughs> so, all right, so let's get this one going on here. There's not much on the bottom, and there's a big blank area on the top. So let's go ahead and cut it down. And that's what I've been putting in into these journals, a two, you know, full-size Daphne diary pages, magazine pages, and, let's see if that's right, there. yep, and then one shorter one of some, some type, like I just did. So, quarter of an inch maybe here. Yes, that should fit. See, that's a good inside page. This one still looks like the best for the outside. And let's put that one right here. That looks good. I like to make sure everything's fitting as I go along. Then a coloring book page. Let's see, this one's next. Let me see. There's a bunny on this one. I just want to see if there's any with a cat on it. I wonder. You never know, right? Let's see if there's any with a cat on it. Or a dog. Well, there's those ones with a cat that I'm saving for a cat journal. But I guess I could put one in here, couldn't I? Any more cats? I thought just one little cat or something, but no. Okay, so this one... This one right here with the black cats. I want to save that one for Halloween, but this one could go in here, I guess. We'll put this one in here with these cats so it goes along with the cats. <laughs> and this is this is really cute if you wanted to paint or color this. Uh, this could be really this could be really cute, and this is fun too. This is shells on the side, so we will put this one in here. Another fun page. And I'm going to need to cut this at the bottom here and just a sliver off the side, but about an inch off the bottom there. So, that's another page. And I'm, if you haven't seen any of the other Daphne Diary, Daphne's Diary videos that I've done, I'm putting 10 papers in. Okay, so we got that one. Mm -hmm. Let's put this one here because we got kind of a plain one here, plain one here. Let's put this one here so we have some kind of pattern on that one. And then there we go. So we have plain, short, pattern, plain, Daphne's diary. Okay. And then we'll put a yellow paper in here. And I really like this orientation because I can put the papers upright. But I like doing the other one too. If I find something that looks like it should, for the cover, that looks like it needs to be the other way. Uh, so, sliver off of here. And I have a calendar page here too. And... Let's cut a little bit off the bottom. 
about an inch, a little bit more than an inch there, inch and a half maybe, inch and one quarter. Okay, there we go. Uh, and the calendar I have been putting in the middle because it's a pretty flower. Okay, so we got another page we can use for a write, that can be a writing page. I'm going to save this little sliver of a scrap here from the cats and I'll tuck that in here too. I'll tuck it in the back here in case somebody wants that. Why not? You know, if you don't want it, they can throw it away. But at least I tried. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Calendar page and oh, I've been putting a a resume paper page in here too because it's just really nice paper you could do whatever anybody wants on you could draw on it you could paint, probably paint on it <coughs> and then about an inch and a half off the bottom again Let's see, was that enough? Not quite. <laughs> Didn't get quite that half inch off that I needed. Oops. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so we got. I'm going to say anything with a picture or anything on it is pattern. So pattern, plain, pattern. Oh, we got two patterns together here. But I kind of wanted that next to that because it's. And then pattern. This one. Okay, let's put this here. Let's see, make sure that's not sticking out too far. Okay, that looks okay. That looks good. All right, now I'm not sure. Let's see. That's uh, everything I have out here except for the calendar page. And this goes like this. Oh, wait a minute. No, it doesn't. It goes like this. Because the flowers are in the middle. Okay. So, let's cut. Let's cut the bottom. Wait, I cut a little bit off the top because there's a hole right there. This is how I did it last time. and It worked out really well. And then... Cut the rest off the bottom. About a good half an inch there off the bottom. And then uh, let's see if we can make this flip out too. So let's see where's our middle right here. like this so let's I need to see it like this to see where I'm at okay so we would fold this like this and just like this okay and then it would be turn it around Let's see this is upright this is uh, this is considered upright <clears throat> for this side <clears throat> okay so it'd be something like this now I need to see if I have 10 papers in here I'm not sure where I'm at make sure I got my fold really good there with all the papers okay they're all inside okay do I have 10 papers that is the question one two three four five six seven eight nine I had a feeling I didn't have ten papers okay let me see what I have here um, oh I know what I didn't put in here I've been putting pattern sewing pattern instructions pages some of those ready to go 
right in my closet in a little box, all pages like this that I have cut and prepared for pages. So hopefully we'll grab one and put it in here. But I need to cut it down a little. So about half an inch off of this one. And so I'm going to have to cut about a half an inch off of it here. I would fold it, but this is very old and it may not, it may or may not fold. You know what I mean? It might just break off. So it looks nice, nice like that with that picture on there. That's really cute. Butterick. So let's find a place for this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think I know where it should go. Yeah, right here is a good place for it. Let's see if it fits within our cover. It's a little it's sticking out a little bit beyond the other pages, so I just need a tiny sliver off. It's just sticking out by a tiny sliver. Okay, right here. I think I'll put it up. Uh, I think I'll put it up at the top like that, and then we're good to go. Our ten pages, our papers are in there. So we have 20 pages or 40 surfaces. We've got our, even our ephemera already in there. This time I'm going to use, I have hardly any of this uh, natural twine left, as you can see. So I'm going to use this red and blue one this time since we have a red dress here. I want to use this up and get this out of my twine box because it's just different than everything else on this kind of little spool here. So <clears throat> let's do it. One two and three and then cut so we have enough for a couple more journals probably all right so uh my needle needle threader thread I hear my husband turning the TV on. He said he was watching football, but now I hear him in there turning the TV on. That means it's time for us to watch TV. I guess the football game got over. <laughs> now he's in there and I'm doing a video because he said he wasn't. He was watching a football game. But he'll just have to wait, right? <laughs> he'll just have to wait. This is mine. Maybe the football game is over or it got boring. I don't know. <laughs> it was a runaway. I don't know if it was college, professional, I have no idea because I don't really watch football <laughs> at all. Okay, yep, he watches football and I do my crafting. So neither one of us have to do anything we don't like, right? <laughs> okay, so, uh, get my awl, poke some holes, three pamphlet stitch. One in the middle. Don't poke yourself. Don't poke myself. <laughs> Hold there. Uh oh, this page, this page moved a little bit, it looks like. Okay, let's do this. Let's just make sure our holes are through all the paper since I moved that a little bit. One. Two, and we didn't do this one yet. Three. Okay. And then we'll sew it in. That's pretty, isn't it? That calendar page in the middle. That's a Dollar Tree calendar that I've had. It was 2019, so I've had it for a few years. <laughs> Quite, let's see, 1920, 20, Yeah, I've had it for what four years and almost five years now finally using it I think I don't I think that's my last big one big calendar and I had this one and a couple of the small ones that they sell sometimes they came together in a package at Dollar Tree a big one and a small one yeah, I think I still I may or may not I might have used up all the small calendar pages too that I had but that's good 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 I'm using up my stuff right Using my stash. That's what's good about not going thrifting too much. You're using things up and 
you're not always having to deal with the new stuff you brought home. Like, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> like, you liked it, but now you have to put it somewhere. And then you have to, you know, use it at some point. So I really like not going thrifting too much this year. And just really using some things that I've had for a while. Really, really good. It feels... I mean, if you haven't tried it, you might want to try it because you might like it. I didn't know I would like that part of it so much because it was like I was always having bringing stuff home, and then you know, I'd be here in my craft room, and I had my I like doing the videos and everything. I like bringing new stuff home, but then I'd have to figure out where to put it and and work it into my rotation of you know, and I kind of would get distracted with the new stuff and not use the old stuff so you know stuff I already had so yeah it's really working out well not going thrifting too much and just you know kind of cycling through the stuff I already had and trying to you know use what I didn't use this time I use it in an external and then kind of just getting through everything and using a little bit of everything here and there and using some stuff up okay there we go she's all sewn together we have, isn't that cute? We put those pieces together and they're just, they look, that looks like it was always there, doesn't it? The word diary. I kind of love it. <laughs> There's the back. Okay, let's quick flip her through. <clears throat> I love it. That is so cute. It's a freebie. When you buy a journal, I make a little Daphne diary journal for you. Okay, so first page with a little puppy. We got Elvis in the building right there. If you like Elvis, you'll like this little journal. <laughs> There's our little short page and our cat coloring book page. So cute. I would use some either, I don't know if I would use, I, I'm, if I thought I could get away with it, I might use some paint, but if I had some colored markers, these cats, like if you do coloring, or if you don't, you might want to do it on here. You could use colored pencils, but I like the bright markers, so I would color all of these with bright colors. That would be so pretty. There's some background there that you could make a, a color that you're like your favorite color. You could do black and then make these all bright colors and they would stand out. Or you could do, I saw some today I was looking at with the background was a pretty turquoise and then these were all like pinks and yellows and the colors like that and they just really popped on that turquoise color anyway it's not my journal though this is our brown envelope isn't that nice that's really thick paper too Daphne diary page I love how they look when they're sewn in all together our little sewing pattern resume paper the calendar flip out and the back half of those pages so cool. I mean, I mean, really. <laughs> I think um, if Daphne ever watches one of my videos, I'd love to be the recipient of a, of a free magazine. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So thank you so much uh, for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed the creation of this next I think this is the ninth one from one magazine and I still have several I don't know if I'm going to show them to you right now I have enough to make at least one no I have enough to make at least well I don't know how many here's let me show you real quick here's what I have left I still have a lot left don't I so still have a lot left there there's another cat. <coughs> There's another cat. Meow. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for my next video. Have a great day. See you then.